Hello everybody, welcome to Behind the Scenes, uh, vlog number three from Behind the Scenes. Today it is Sunday and it is 11.57, so three minutes to go until 12 o'clock and I am doing my first initial rough cut of part number four, which you guys will be seeing tomorrow. Now, part four was meant to go up on Friday, but I decided that I didn't have enough time to do a good edit. Now, I part number three... I was so proud of the edit, really proud, and one of the most important things is keeping up that standard um, across all of the videos. And part four, it, w it ended up, between everything that I had to do uh, last week, it ended up that I'd only have about four hours to edit part four, three or four hours, or it could have been five, I'm not too sure, but anyway, it was a short amount of time, something that I wasn't happy with. Um, so. I decided to wait until this week to upload it, and I thought, considering I didn't upload it on Friday, which which was my initial plan, the least I can do is upload it on Monday. So, it is Sunday today, and I have literally got the rest of the day to edit this video, which is awesome. I've got nothing else to do today. I've got some camcorder tapes to put onto DVD for someone, um, but that's, you know, a quick job that can be done in the background. I don't need Final Cut for that. Um, I need Toast for that, which is quite system demanding, so... Um, I would like to be not editing while I do that, but that's a small hurdle that we'll that we'll get over later. For now, what I'm doing, I haven't done the intro, I haven't done the outro, I haven't done any audio stuff. All I'm doing is taking the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 16, 24, the 26 clips that I have, which is not a lot, but they're all long clips. The 26 clips that I have from part number 4 filming, um, what I'm going to do is take those and rough cut them together, just as a botch rough cut, which will probably um, not take me very long at all. I've already started. I've got eight minutes, um, which is great, so um, I'm getting there. No idea as to the length of this video. I initially thought it was going to be literally about an hour and ten minutes, but something is telling me that it's going to be fairly short because a lot of the footage length was just um, clips of me screwing stuff in without saying anything, which need to be sped up. So yeah, this is a long intro, but welcome to today's vlog. I haven't had food or anything yet. I woke up about an hour ago, um, so I haven't had food or anything, so I need to be doing that and whatnot. Um, but yeah, today is editing day for part four, and editing day only. One thing that I completely forgot to mention in my very long intro there to this vlog is this vlog is going to be very different because um, previously in the behind the scenes, I've been speak, I've uploaded the vlog prior to uploading whatever part that I'm making in the vlog. This time, I'm making part four now. It'll be live tomorrow, hopefully, if everything goes to plan. And then you will be seeing this vlog Tuesday, so you'll see the entire progression from editing, exporting, uploading, making it live, um, which is obviously, you know, an interesting point because it's kind of... Well, as soon as you make it live, people can start giving you feedback, and if there's something really crap in the video that everyone doesn't like, um, then, you know, you know about it pretty soon after making it live. Um, but it's always good, you know, once I get to sort of three hours after a video being live, and I've got, you know, majority thumbs up and some really nice comments, I'm in, I'm in the safe park, I'm in the good ballpark, whatever. I'm in the safe zone. Yeah, so what I was trying to say is, um, blinking heck, it's a Sunday, what, what can I say, guys? Um, you'll see the entire progression throughout the whole making of part four, the whole thing. And of course, the plan will be to try and record a little bit on Tuesday as well, just record the outro and stuff on Tuesday, so you can see me the day after uploading um, part four, and then this will be Tuesday's video. But I'm editing now, and it is only um, 11 minutes past 12, so it's literally like 10 minutes after I recorded the last bit. And I'm sort of steaming ahead with this rough cut, so I'm feeling quite confident about it. But at the same time, because the project is so underdeveloped at the moment, and it's just nowhere near, even though I've got like 8, 9, 10 hours to do this, I'm still feeling as if it's not getting anywhere. But once I once I reach the end of the rough cut, I'll, I'll feel good about myself, I'll feel good about the project. So guys, I've just come off the section on the video where I am editing the graphics card installation and we're at 32 minutes so slap an intro and a little bit of fancy editing at the start of the video onto that 
um, but maybe cut out a little bit of time for some extra cuts that I'll make on my second watch through. We're probably looking at about 34 minutes, maybe 33 minutes at the moment, so that's good. That is really good. And uh, I've still got a while left to go, still got a load of clips, so I am actually pleased with the um, the quantity of this video. Now everyone says it's quality, not quantity. That is totally the case, but sometimes when you film a video as a YouTuber, you feel that you have not filmed enough footage. Or you could have, you feel that you filmed a load of footage, but a load of it was crap, or a load of it was just you not talking and the camera was just still rolling. That's what I felt with uh, this part four. But watching it, it's always the same case. There's plenty of footage, it is absolutely fine, and it's up to your usual standard, which is great. Um, but of course, the length is something that I do want to keep going really nicely on this video, um, just to keep up with the series, and um, it's not disappointing at all. So everyone, 12 minutes past one, and I'm starting to turn into a zombie because I haven't eaten anything yet. Um, the only slight annoying thing about editing part four is my room is a tip, and I kind of hate working in a messy environment. But it's mainly messy because of the projects that I'm doing. Um, so hopefully Tuesday I'll get some time to clear that up. Maybe tomorrow at a push. You never know. I could do that. Could be what I do tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow afternoon I could do that. Um, not that when I tidy it it gets much better anyway. But if I could tidy it and get some stuff on eBay, that'd be really cool. Considering I've got Tuesday's video covered with this vlog, I could do that really easily. Um, but one thing I will do today is sort of have a shave and a shower and stuff. Um, I made it sound as if it had been absolutely ages then, didn't I? But, uh, okay, we've got some stuff going on in here. We've got some stuff going on, not too bad. But yeah, that'll be a nice excuse to have a break. I'll do that in about an hour, actually, because I'm kind of feeling that. And it's a boiling hot day as well, so it'll be nice to have a shower. Um, yeah, I kind of spaced out today, so I think I need some food, desperately. Ah, oh, twats. <laughs> food over and done with, guys. Man, I'm gonna cram sort of 15 minutes more editing in, 15, 20 minutes, and then I'm going in the shower because I just really feel like doing that. Um, and I did procrastinate a little downstairs. So guys, it is quarter past two and I'm gonna have a little break here. Um, I've managed to rough cut the entire project and as well record in one take what I think is gonna be the outro voiceover. Just a little cut there needed where I stumbled upon my words at the last sentence. Um, but yeah, I think this is gonna be my outro voiceover. I'm very pleased with it. And also I have 43 minutes of build goodness that of course you guys have already seen by now. Um, so, take away a couple of minutes for some more refined editing that I need to do on my second watch through and also add a sort of a minute in for an intro and whatnot, do some glam shots at the end over that voiceover and this project is done so I can virtually chill out which is really nice. I'm going to get back going in a few hours time because it's important to step away from a project and then come back otherwise you just can't get a clear perspective of uh, how your editing is going. I mean, it would be better for me to step back and come back to it another day, but I'm dedicating today to editing. So um, I'm gonna get on with things like those uh, camcorder tapes I was telling you about and um, DVDs and stuff like that. And I'm gonna come back to this project later. Overall, very pleased with the, pro with the project. Um, did not show enough of the build, enough of the finalized build. So at least I can do all of that in my glam shots in the outro. And the cool thing is, um, just like any good series, I'm ending on a nice bit of a cliffhanger at the end of part four here. Um, not in terms of the voiceover, but in terms of the, you know, I didn't even show, I booted the system and showed that the system was all working, but I didn't show the graphics card fully up and running and stuff. I just started talking about the NVIDIA drivers and then it trailed off into a cliffhanger. Um, as you guys know, you've seen it already, so uh, yeah, at least I hope you have anyway. If you haven't, then check out yesterday's video because otherwise you're watching them backwards. But yes, I'm pleased with that. I'm going to shift Z just to take a look at my project and how many cuts I've got. Um, yes, it's looking good. So everyone, it is hours later. It is 20 past 7. Let me just make sure. Yeah. 20 past seven, had a great shower, uh, had some more food, even though I need some more food in a minute once more. 
Um, I decided because this vlog is going to be spread across more days than the previous behind the scenes, I'm going to shake it up and I didn't want to just record myself editing like I did in the previous two. Um, so I'm still working on the intro um, because I made two intros that I totally scrapped and that took up a good two and a half hours. Um, but it's not a big deal, it just shows that I'm putting effort and time and care into it. Um, so all I've got to do is make this intro and do a quick voiceover for the intro at the end part and then tidy up my rough cut which will um, entail one watch through which is you know about 35 minutes or whatever it was, 40 minutes and then do a nice little bit of a film some b-roll God excuse me everyone got some kind of weird burp thing going on there film some b-roll and then put that over at the end over my end voiceover so the intro is nearly done it's coming on pretty well so yeah, you guys have all seen it by now. So I've just recorded a load of B-roll and I've imported it. It is, let's take a little look, nearly 10 to 9. So today has been a little bit of a struggle, um, timing-wise. And I'm going to be working on this quite late until it's, you know, ready. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm just going to keep plodding away at it and see where I get. This is all the B-roll um, for the ending, all the glam footage, so I'm really excited to see if I can make a nice looking montage out of all this. So at 21.26 I am indeed exporting this video, so it should be all exported and stuff by 10. Um, actually it's a 45 minute video, maybe quarter past 10, something like that. Um, so I'm going to have a crack at the thumbnail and that is me pretty much knackered for today. Part 4, uh, am I pleased with it? Hell yeah. Is it my favourite part? Probably not. Part 3 is probably my favourite part, with part 1 being second favourite, um, part 4 being third favourite, and part 2 being my least favourite. Um, but my least favourite is still, you know, an incredible favourite of mine. I'm very, very... I criticise myself a lot. Um, you know, not out loud to people or anything, but just in my own head. So I kind of like to rank my videos, and that is where I feel that I am at the moment. In terms, of, it's not that's not in terms of reception and popularity. That's not taking all of that into um, account. That's just taking into account my own personal feelings behind the creation of the video. Um, but the series as a whole, my God, am I pleased? I am really pleased, and it's actually given me a rocket up my ass. Don't take this for gospel or anything, please don't. But it's put a rocket up my ass and made me realise how. Not easy, but how achievable the Power PC promise could be with just a little bit of work. But of course, I'd have to restart the whole thing now because relevance has gone down. Um, you know, every minute that ticks by with old footage, the relevance just decreases. And also, it's not up to my current quality standard. So, yeah, but I'm not even going to talk about the Power PC promise. I just got stuck in a rut with the Power PC promise, and it's very sad. Um, that that happened, but at least I can get this series out and it is absolutely smashing in my opinion. Um, and maybe something like the Power PC Promise or something similar to that may pop up in the future. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Good morning everyone, or should I say uh, good afternoon actually. It is the next day, it is Monday, and it is 1.29. So I've been in work this morning um, since about 9 o'clock. And I'm back now and I've just had lunch, so I've got to go back to work at around 6. Nearly fell over then. <laughs> got to go back to work at around 6 and then obviously that takes up the rest of my day. So the plan is today, because I have this vlog to cover me tomorrow, I'm trying to pace around the room chatting but it's just not happening because of the amount of stuff in here. And that's exactly what I'm addressing. I'm going to be tidying my bedroom. Um, so what we basically have, actually I'm going to talk you through the mess. Oh, and not only am I tidying the bedroom, I'm going to give upstairs a go as well. So guys, taking a quick look, um, this is the mess that I'm faced with. So not so bad on the desktop here. Um, then coming round, it isn't catastrophic, um, but it is, you know, pretty bad. So yeah, it's not excellent. Most of it though is, you know, the lighting needs to go back under the bed. And um, once that's out of the way, I can then get rid of all the boxes that the computer components came in. And once they're gone, or when I say get rid, I don't really know what I'm doing with them. I might put them in that cupboard for now. Um, and then, of course, it's all the gaming stock here. So, yeah, it's quite quite a lot of stuff. And the annoying thing about this tidying job is there's going to be 
um, quite a lot of stuff that I don't know what to do with. So, you know, stuff that doesn't have a place or whatever. So the, the plan is put some music on, get it pumping and do a good bit of tidying. Today's a Monday, it's a pretty miserable day to be honest. I'm feeling pretty, oh, pretty crappy, but one thing that's keeping me going is looking forward to releasing part four, which is really, really good. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and once I get this room done, I'll be feeling a lot better. It'll be really good to get it done. And if I do have time, I'll get upstairs and stuff sorted as well. Um, upstairs isn't too bad at all, it's just a little bit out of, out of place because I've needed to find stuff really quickly and that, you know, the, the tidying I did to the studio is a little bit out of place and I've opened up the MDD a little bit to get the um, power cabling out that I stole for the Hackintosh. So anyway, hopefully in the next clip you'll see some improvements. All right guys, so it's half past two and I'm really getting there. That is the size of the gaming pile. Um, it's just this lot here in front of the sofa, which is not a lot really. I can really get that shifted if I try hard. Um, so all I've got to do now is clear that pile of stuff there which is just a load of random crap. Um, clear a little pile of stuff there. The lights are all back under there. And of course I've got to do the bed and the desks, but the floor is looking a lot better, um, which I'm really pleased with. I've stuck the spare, the spare Quicksilver, all of the Hackintosh um, boxes, all the component boxes, and the gaming PC all upstairs for now um, in my giant pile of stuff to be sorted. Um, which is totally cool, you know, because I've got um, very, I've got good plans for the gaming PC and stuff coming up really soon, so that should be great. But anyway, guys, um, I'm going to plod on with this. It's coming on pretty well. So as you can see now, everyone, everything is looking really good. Desk is done. It is uh, four o'clock. Floor is done. I've just got to put that Griffin elevator back in my top cupboard because I don't need it. There's the gaming stuff. I'm not going to bother with the sofa area. Um, all the stuff that's gone from in here has been taken upstairs. So this is by no means perfect, but it is way, way better. Um, the bed is still not done though. I need to do the bed. Um, one improvement that I've made, guys, is I've actually put my Hackintosh on top of my Mac Pro and it's surprisingly stable. So here's my, you know, power hack and there's my Mac Pro. Um, it's still up there because of uh, troubleshooting reasons. As you can actually see on the screen there, um, yeah, now this is a fairly common error, um, but what basically happens is every time I um, sort one thing, something else breaks. So I'm really struggling to get, I'm trying to get two very complicated things set up. I'm trying to get a RAID 0 set up and I'm trying to get a, um, a GTX 960 set up. Now both of those things in their own right are fairly hard to get going, right? But to try and get them going together is really difficult because it's hard to know what's causing the error. Right now the graphics card is giving me troubles, but if I do anything to sort this, then it won't boot into the RAID 0. Um, so it's really difficult, really, really difficult. And I, I am getting increasingly more tempted to knock both the 960 and the RAID 0 on the head and, you know, get myself a GTX 770 or whatever. And... Uh, you know, that'll be more powerful anyway, or a GTX 760 or whatever I can get and, you know, sell the 960 and just use one SSD for, for, for OS 10, you know, save all this hassle. But I've based the, I've based the whole series around basically the whole idea of RAID 0 boot drive and, you know, um, all this stuff. So I really, really want to get it working. Um, and I haven't been trying it non-stop actually. This is the first time in days that I've tried it. My main priority now is waiting on the Quicksilver front panel, so that's all good. Just doing a BIOS update on my system to eliminate any complications there, because I've got quite an old revision. Should have done that ages ago, really, um, but I was kind of putting it off, um, just out of laziness, really. So I'm in a mixture of moods. I don't know if I should have started fiddling with my Hackintosh again today, because today was all about tidying, and, you know, time is already ticking, and uh, I haven't even touched upstairs yet, so... Yeah, not sure how I feel about that, but at least in here is tidy and manageable, which is really, really good. Um, but I'm in the zone of fiddling with this machine now, so um, yeah, I don't quite know what to make of that. But here we go, BIOS is updating, and um, yeah, I'd, ju I'd just love to get this working. You know, it's quite funny, a lot of people are saying like, oh, Tom, I bet you're secretly using the Hackintosh behind the scenes and stuff, but you know, I wish that was true. Um, I'm just not, and to top it all off, 
one lot of my LEDs on the bottom are no longer working, so we need to figure that out. But I will be replacing those anyway, they look terrible the way they're mounted under there. Um, I will be getting the proper sticky back adhesive ones, um, self adhesive, you know, peely proper ones. Um, but yeah, this is the update process and it's nearly done. So this is a rather retro themed program that I don't think I could live without. This is Toast Titanium. Um, and what I'm doing now is I'm re-encoding a load of NTSC camcorder clips because this person has an NTSC camcorder. Uh, apologies for my phone in the background, guys. Re-encoding it to PAL and then it'll burn straight to DVD. Toast is brilliant. Um, it's not really like iDVD. It's got its own, you know, it does this and it does that. It's, it's absolutely excellent. I love the entire suite. I've got Toast Titanium 10, but when I get my next system up and running, I believe I'll try the new one. Um, but of course, the Hackintosh doesn't have an optical drive um, yet anyway. So putting the external optical drive together will be important. I know I've got a wedding video coming up, um, which I'll need to do about eight copies of on Lightscribe. Um, actually, so I'll need to use my light scribe burner for that. Um, it's kind of a rarity these days using light, light scribe, you know, it's really, really probably a thing of the past now, but it's still so handy for easy professionalism. A lot of you probably don't even know what light scribe is. Well, you know, you will, but it's really irrelevant these days um, because there are just so many better options available. Um, but light scribe is the burner that I have and it works well, so it's actually my MDD at the moment. It's the one that came all the way from America, and um, it's a great drive, great drive. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put that Griffin elevator in my cupboard. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm gradually getting stuff done. What time is it now? It is 10 to five. So yeah, I'm on the home stretch ready for work, to be honest. Not gonna get much more done now, and I've actually... Well, everyone, I said I wasn't gonna be productive, but it turns out that I was fairly productive. I made the DVD, which is all good. Sorry about that, everyone. I just filled up an SD card, believe it or not. Um, this one, my original eight gig. I've had this since the start of YouTube. Um, even before I had my iPhone, I used to use that eight gig in my mum's camera, um, which is amazing that it recognized it actually, because a lot of those older cheap cameras won't recognize more than four gigs. And we're still seeing it now with cheap cameras. Um, but that's by the by. That is me done for today, guys. Um, I'm signing out and I'll be giving you an update tomorrow and also this video will be going live tomorrow. So tonight is an exciting night for me releasing the PowerPC, <laughs> releasing the Hackintosh part four. You can tell what's on my mind. I've been thinking a little bit about that today actually because I mentioned it earlier and it does take a lot for me to mention it. But anyway guys, I'm going to stop rambling because I need to do a few things before going to work. So as always, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. What is up everyone? It is Tuesday and I am giving you another update and I'm not going to swing back and forth on my chair because that may become annoying in the clip. Um, right, so it is, hang on a second, this vlog is becoming fairly disjointed, isn't it? It is a 14.24. I got back from work about an hour ago, had some lunch, I've had a chill, had a cup of tea, and now I'm just getting started. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. What I have to do today is pretty minimal stuff. Um, I can't really start anything major at home here because later on sometime, I'm not sure, it could be any time from three onwards. I've got to go down the studio and play drums on just one track. It's only going to take me about an well, you know, the, the track itself will probably only take me like half an hour, maybe, I don't know, I, I don't know the track. Um, because I did like three tracks the other day, um, but there's one more that I've got to do. So, I'm not going to start anything big today, but what I am going to do is continue vlogging, and um, as you guys know, I tidied this yesterday, I think it was, so I need to tidy up there now, and um, I need to at least think, if not start filming, um, about tomorrow's video. Um, because I'll be in, in work tomorrow, but I'm not in work tomorrow morning, so I'll have, I'll have a chance to film it tomorrow morning. But if I can get a video filmed today as well, that'll be a total bonus uh, when today's video. So, of course, it's not part five of the Hackintosh. Um, as you guys know, at the end of yesterday's video, I said there's going to be a bit of a delay for part five. But I will think of something cool. Um, not I'm not going to lie, guys. The, the Hackintosh has consumed so much of my brain power that... I have not been very active in terms of thinking about other video ideas. Um, uh, I know I've got a massive pile of gaming stuff behind me that is slimming down slowly, 
but that's a massive pile of stuff that I've got to sell. Um, so you will be seeing quite a lot of console testing and that. The only downside to that is it's my least popular type of video, so I do not like to do more than sort of one a week. Um, I did two console tests and console related videos um, in a row a couple of weeks ago, I think two or three weeks ago, and they're still just about sitting around 1,500 views. Uh, it's not all about the numbers at all, but if I do loads of um, videos that are unpopular in a row, then I do notice that the general pop popularity of the channel goes down. Um, so yeah, I want to avoid that if I can and try and keep on this high Hackintosh horse thing. Um, and part of that is maybe starting up about the gaming PC again, so you know, I know a lot of people want to see that. Um, but so today's list, I'm gonna you know do drumming on that track, sort about uh, sort out upstairs, at least begin thinking about um, tomorrow's video, Wednesday's video, and what I'll do is I'll edit this vlog on my MacBook Pro, so no matter where I am later on, I can edit it and slam it up, and if I'm down at my girlfriend's house, I can slam it up on her internet about three, four times quicker than I can on mine. So a simple 720p vlog will definitely be live in time tonight, and if it's not, you guys know that something went wrong. <laughs> so yeah. Simple list, and I've got to have a shave as well. This beard is crazy. So everyone, I've still not heard anything back from when I'm meant to be going to record, so what I'm going to do is... Actually, I need to take a Phillips screwdriver just in case. Um, there we go. What I'm going to do is go upstairs into the studio and tidy up the mess that I've made up here while taking up these little things. There we go. The... CPU cover for my motherboard that needs to go in my the socket cover for my motherboard that needs to go in the motherboard box and also the little covers for the graphics card the little bits and bobs on the graphics card yeah so I've been doing a few things up here so it's gone messy again so I want to keep my pile as organized as I can I'll show you what's going on now there is the socket cover um, that I need to put in the motherboard box these are the bits that I've taken off the graphics card that I'll need to keep safe Got a screwdriver there because I may need to put some things back in my MDD, but I'm not too sure. And this is the state of the studio. Now it looks horrendous. I'm actually going to close the door, guys. Just a bit of privacy, why not? Eh? Um, I know it looks horrendous, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was before. Um, basically, what's happened is I had to take the MDD apart a little bit to steal some stuff from it. And also... Um, I've got a lot of stuff just splurged everywhere. So this is literally going to take me about five minutes to get everything lined up, which is not so bad at all. Well, guys, order has been restored. As you can see, we've got everything in the one pile. Um, and I think I need to clean my lens after this because focusing is becoming um, a little bit trickier than usual. And that's saying something. Um, but anyway... I've got this digital mixer here, this Phonic 16 channel. Um, I'm actually in the process of changing the flight case for it. It was in a flight case that was much too big for it. Um, it was a big 19 inch rack case, so I'm on the lookout to get its actual foam lined fitted flight case, which will make it a lot smaller and lighter. This mixer is quite light. You can pick it up with one hand. Um, so if I get a evenly light flight case, I believe it's 12 kilos, the case that is lined and fits this. Um, and I know you can buy it on Tommen, but I think it's like nearly touching £200, so it's a bit of a stretch. Um, but yeah, I want to get that cased up, and then that will go back downstairs in the in the storage of gear. Um, but up now, at the moment it's up here because, you know, I, I, I dare not take it out without a case, to be honest. Um, so yeah, this is the bundle of stuff. Um, here we have the SSD adapter for the Quicksilver. I'm hoping to put the OCZ drive back in there once I'm finished with it or even the uh, OWC drive, any SSD really, to go back in that G4, um, just in case I ever decide to make that a thing again. And then here we have the Quicksilver, of course, um, that I may have to borrow the front panel board from because they're, they're really hard to find. And also I've got all sorts of other crap behind here. Um, I'd say about 20% of this stuff is keep, you know, I've got that pile of boxes that I'm going to keep for a while and that just in case I want to sell any of the components at any time, obviously my drum kit, um, but yeah, here is all of my, you know, stuff that I really need to sell and stuff, it's really getting there, but you know, whatever, um, the studio is nice and clear now, nice and tidy, I dug out the Phenom because there is something coming up with this, 
as you guys may or may not know, I dropped this a little while ago and bent a load of pins on it, so I'm going to try and bring that back from the dead. And if I am going to do that, then a little bit of a secret, if you've made it this far in the vlog, a little bit of an Easter egg for you. Um, this will be going into my um, gaming PC from Spare Parts build, which is going to transform into a gaming PC from Spare Parts, plus Neely Broken Processor, plus second-hand cheapest motherboard I can find on eBay. Um, but uh, yeah, I want to bring that into that kind of era and ditch the Socket 939, just so I can advertise it as a gaming PC to sell it because right now I can't because the CPU is holding it back. I do have a buyer lined up for that PC. He's very patient so he's going to wait for me to do that so that is a project that's on the way but in terms of all this stuff then I've already cleared out a shed load of stuff but a load of this needs to go. Once I've got my room sorted I can start tackling this lot and by sorted I mean um, much more organised and whatnot. So the main priority now is to get rid of all that gaming stuff in the middle of the room. Um, probably sit that way that'll probably be better for the camera. Um, once all that gaming stock goes, I can tackle the wardrobe. Once the wardrobe's done, I can tackle the cupboard. Once the cupboard's done, I can tackle under my sofa. Once that's done, you know, it's like an ongoing series of events. And I really want to slim down all of this stuff because I own a lot of stuff. Um, you know, trust me, if I could keep it all, then I would. Um, because, you know, a load of it would come in handy one day. But you can't keep things just in case. Um, I just really, really want to be able to fit all of my stuff in, in a nice single location because what makes everything bigger and more on top of itself is, you know, I'm storing stuff in other places as well. Um, that's when it gets a little extreme, you know, I'm storing, I'm storing gear here, there and everywhere. Um, you know, speakers and lights and stuff like that. But anyway, that's by the by. I also can't forget about this little corner of uh, hoarding. I've got a load of stuff back there, as you guys can see. Loads of audio stuff, and that's also where my cassette collection is. Um, I can't forget about that little corner, but of course that will be one of the last things I tackle. Um, because it's behind there and it isn't disturbing anyone, and I don't need that space because it's behind the desk. Um, so yeah, they'll probably be sitting there forever, really. Um, but yeah, that this is on a different league. So I've just had a phone call, guys, and getting picked up at half four to do this track. So what I think I'm going to do is be a little bit naughty and finish work a bit early today, um, finish my work. So what I'm going to do is offload, well, not really, I'll just take my work portable. I've got 55 minutes until half past four, so I'm going to spend that time having a shower and uh, changing and just, you know, getting myself sorted. I'm also going to import all of these vlog clips to my MacBook Pro and begin as much editing as I can. And then I'll get dropped off at Jess's house tonight, we'll have a chill watch a film, because I bought myself a couple of films on the weekend, um, and I'll edit this vlog and upload it there, because it'll go up on her internet. If I come back here after recording, it won't go up on my internet. Um, you know, she hasn't got fibre, but she's got a quicker... She's actually... She lives in town. I live seven or eight miles out of town. Um, so that's the big, big difference. So, yes, we are nearly done with the vlog, but first I'm going to do something that I promised to do, and that is take a look at how part four is doing. So, even though you've all seen it by now, guys, um, here is the video, and I am so pleased with the reception. This has been one of the best received videos um, in the whole series. So, basically, we've got very nearly 2K views. Um, in way less than 24 hours, so that is great. 2K in 24 hours is sort of a brilliant milestone for my channel. And over 200 likes as well um, within that amount of time is just incredible. And of course the comment support. So something that I've tried to do in return for the effort that you guys put into commenting is reply to all the comments. As you can see, I haven't replied to the last four comments there, but I've been trying to reply to every single comment and at least have a little bit of a conversation um, with you guys regarding the build and stuff because loads of you, but well, pretty much all of you have something very interesting to say about the build, which is which is great and I really do appreciate it. So part four has been, ex uh, has been extremely well received, as I've said, amazing stuff. Um, but on that awesomely happy note, guys, I'm gonna sign out. Hope the vlog's been good. Um, I really love doing these vlogs because I work a lot on my own and, you know, take the mick if you will or whatever, but you start to go a bit mental sometimes when you're just in a room on your own for hours and hours just doing geek stuff. So at least doing these vlogs I get a chance to speak, I get a chance to speak out loud with an excuse to do so without looking mental. 
and um, it's just a great place to just say whatever's on my mind and as you guys can probably tell I'm very busy but my mind is is quite simple I've got simple achievements I say yo, yo today I want to do this hope I get it done and I get it done or I don't get it done if it's a bad day and that's pretty much pretty much all there is to it so of course expect more vlogs in the future as my arm gets a bit shaky because it's tired expect more vlogs in the future uh, we might take a little break from them because I know they've been a lot but yeah, we might do one later on in the week. I just they're they're very very good fun, and of course, as usual, tradition on the vlogs. If you got to the end, drop me a comment. I'd really appreciate that. Huge thank you for watching, everyone, and of course, I'll see you in tomorrow's video, which is Wednesday's video that I have not thought of yet. So if Wednesday's video is late, you guys know why.